In a developmental theory, literacy is not a single skill that simply gets better. Being literate is very different for the skilled first grader, fourth grader, high school student and adult. And the effects of school experiences can be quite different at different points in a child's development. Catherine Snow, 1991 Hello dear students, good day! This is Minerva, your teacher for today. So for today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the methods and techniques in each reading period. But before that, let us bow down our head and feel the presence of our Lord. The most precious and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the gift of life that we were able to wake up this morning. We thank you for the food we ate and the guidance. Lord, may you give us your holy wisdom as we about to learn new lesson for today. We are very sorry for the sins that we have committed against you. This is all we pray in Jesus Christ's most precious name I pray. Amen. So who is excited for today's lesson? But before we start with our main discussion, let me ask you some questions. When was the first time that you have read the alphabet by yourself? What was your age when you are already reading words like apple, boy, and dog? Hmm, I guess you already know what will our lesson be focusing on. Is that reading? <laughs> You're correct. So, let me define to you what is the meaning of reading. Reading is a method of communication that enables a person to turn writing into meaning. It allows the reader to convert a written text into a meaningful language with independence, comprehension, and fluency, and to interact with the message. Reading learning requires instruction and practice, and this learning occurs across discrete stages. The following slides are the four stages of reading development. These are the first stage is reading readiness from nursery and kindergarten. The second stage is beginning reading from grades 1 and 2. Third is a period of rapid growth, grades 3 and 4. And lastly, the fourth stage is a period of refinement and the use of reading techniques, which we're about to discuss, of course, from grade 6, high school, and college. Reading readiness. Typically between nursery and kindergarten. The child is learning the relation between letters and sounds and between print and spoken words. In this stage, the child is able to read simple text containing high-frequency words and phonically regular words and use the skills and insight to sound out new words. In relation to writing, the child is moving from scribbling to controlled scribbling to non-phonetic letter strings. Teachers and parents are encouraging the child to write about known words and use invented spellings to encourage beginning writing, which can be extended through assisted performance. In this stage, the main aims are to further develop children's phonological awareness, letter sound knowledge, and ability to manipulate phonemes and syllables, segmentation, and blending. These skills should be thought in the context of print, and children should have ample opportunities to manipulate, trace, and hear the sounds of letter. That's a method of the technique in teaching reading. So, to encourage independent reading, teachers or parents should select books that have few words on each page with a large type size and with illustrations on each page. Researchers argued 
that good practice would provide an environment that did not interfere with the predetermined process of development in the child. Readiness is a function of ripening, usually around at 7. So, the instruction in reading readiness is teacher-directed and heavy focused on decoding. And in reading readiness programs, children were considered ready to read when they had met certain social, physical, and cognitive competencies. So here are some methods and techniques in this period. So during shared reading, the teacher and the parents were encouraged to read aloud each word and increase the number of print-focused questions that they are about to ask children. So reading instructions should incorporate listening to stories and informational texts and read aloud learning the alphabet reading text out loud and silently and writing letters words messages and stories teachers and parents must ensure that children have ample opportunity beginning to apply the practices from and strategies. strategies too typically seven years old to eight years old so the focus of beginning reading stage is on word recognition and comprehension. The attainment of these goals depends to a large extent on the child's use of the alphabet, his knowledge of the sounds of the letters, his ability to recognize words and put them together in correct sequence in their spoken and written forms, and the use of these words in relation to what they be in a context. Confirmation and fluency or beginning reading. In the stage, the child can read simple, familiar stories and selections with increasing fluency. This is done by consolidating the basic decoding elements, sight, vocabulary, and in the context in the reading of common topics. First stage, pre-alphabetic. It uses environmental and visual cues, like body language and hand gestures. Second stage is the partial alphabetic. The students or the child were unable to read words by forming complete sounds of some letters because we were able to familiarize by uh, hearing it from their mothers and their teachers. The third stage is the full alphabetic. The children will be able to read words by forming complete connections because the child can segment to the phonome. So meaning to say they were reading words um, by sounds. For the third stage is the consolidated alphabetic which the students will be able to read words by chunking the morphemes or the syllables by highlighting the correct stress of the word and so on. Methods and techniques in beginning reading stage. By this stage, adults should be providing instruction that includes repeated and monitored oral reading. Teachers and parents must model fluent reading for students by reading aloud to them daily and ask students to read text aloud. It is important to start with texts that are relatively short and contain words that students can successfully decode. This practice should include a variety of texts such as stories, nonfiction, and poetry and it should use a variety of ways to practice oral reading, such as student adult reading, choral, reading tape, assisted reading, um, partner body and reading and reader's theater. So in this stage, vocabulary needs to be thought both indirectly and directly. 
teachers and parents need to engage in conversations with their children to help them learn new words and their meanings. And during reading, it is important to pause to define unfamiliar words and discussing the book upon completion of reading. So, at the end of this stage, the learner is transitioning out of the learning to read, moving on to the next and into stage, the reading which to is learn period phase. of rapid growth, also known as the reading to learn the new, typically developed between the ages of 9 and 13 years old. So, reading is used to learn new ideas, to gain new knowledge, to experience new feelings, and to learn new attitudes, generally from one or two points of view. So, there is a significant emphasis placed on reading to learn and writing for diverse purposes. There is time spent balancing the consolidating of constrained skills, which are spelling, grammar, and fluency, whilst providing ample opportunities to explore topics through reading, writing, speaking, listening, and viewing. By this time, the learner has transitioned to a stage so the teacher's where he is or to she is enrich the vocabulary, from their deepening comprehension, and the weighty and critical thinkings of the students. The teacher will be able to encourage the free reading in the students for practice and applying scanning and scheming techniques in the reading and introducing the use of dictionary to locate meaning of new words and Next assigning is the summaries and outlines in book in rapid growth so the teacher's role should teach specific comprehension strategies such as comprehension monitoring using graphic and semantic organizers, answering questions, generating questions, recognizing textual structures, summarizing and identifying main ideas and important details. The comprehension strategies can be thought through direct explanation, modeling, guided practice, and application. Students benefit from cooperative learning and students should be encouraged to coordinate and adjust several strategies to assist comprehension. So at this stage, the students should be encouraged to use a variety of tools to learn new words such as dictionaries, thesauruses, reference guides, word parts, or should I say prefixes, base words, and etc and contextual clues. Moving on to the next and last stage, which is the period of refinement, also known as the synthesizing information and applying multiple perspective, typically between 14 and 17 years old, on um, the grade six, high school, and college. Learners are reading widely from a broad range of complex materials, both expository and narrative, and are asked to apply a variety of viewpoints. Learners are required to assess, retain, critique, and apply knowledge and concepts. In this stage, learners are consolidating general reading, writing, and learning strategies was being required to develop more sophisticated disciplinary knowledge and perspectives. These adolescent learners deserve content area teachers who provide instruction in the multiple literacy strategies needed to meet the demands of the specific discipline. In these areas, adolescents deserve access to an instruction with multimodal as well as traditional print sources. Effective instruction includes ample opportunities to discuss disciplinary content and explore how these disciplines apply to the world outside the school walls. The parents and the teachers should encourage learners to refine interest, pursue areas of expertise, and develop the literacy so of the teachers the years ahead. Stage is to context. encourage students 
an independent reading and should have an ample use of library materials. Introduce a research works, which is really, really helpful for them. Encourages the practice of note-taking, uh, efficient organization of notes, and wide reading for pleasure. And the teachers will be able to engage students in oral reading using poetic, exhortative, and dramatic materials like verse choir, reader's theater, and impromptu methods and techniques. So... The learner should induce mastery of the language and guide students in familiarity with technical words and terms. And the teachers will be able to build students' literary appreciation, especially in novels, and engage themselves in writing short stories. Lastly, is the teacher should guide students That's in all my careful detail. Done. Thank, Thank you so much reading. for listening and hope you get something and learn something in this discussion. Spare your